name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I will be talking about how to make a beam of light, a beam of white light for a prism. The reason we want a beam of white light for a prism is that we're going to use the prism to create a spectrum and separate the red, green, and blues of the white light. Now, we require of our beam, number one, we want it as narrow as possible because if it were wide, then you're going to be mixing up the colors. We want it narrow, we want it parallel for the same reason that you don't want to mix up the colors. We want it bright so that we can see it, of course, and of course we're asking for it to be white. The way to get a white light is to use sunlight. That's one thing we can use, but you can also use a light bulb that will produce uh, a fairly white light. Now one way to get a narrow beam is to use a pinhole. You can make a pinhole in a shoebox and then use, let's say, the sun as a light source and light hitting the pinhole, only the light going into the, right through the hole is allowed to go through. So we're making our beam narrow. It's not quite parallel. To make it parallel, we would take a second pinhole. This could be, again, in your uh, shoebox, the second hole, and only light going directly through gets through. So that's made, you made it narrow, parallel, and it's white because you're using sunlight. However, it's not very bright, and you may or may not be able to get by with this. Uh, to make it bright, you would have to use lenses, and maybe in your shoebox again, now a lot more light from the sun gets concentrated and you use a second lens to make the beam parallel again and you might also be using a, a pinhole in this case to make it narrow. This will be a much more intense light source than if you just used pinholes. So this is how you make a narrow beam to use for a prism. Thank you for watching.